So the next thing I'd like to tell you guys is, so how the rules of exponents allow us to you know, multiply and divide monomials. Well, what about when we have uh, monomials raised to another exponent? So what I have is, I have a, I have a number with an exponent, and then that um, term is also being raised to another exponent. So what it says is, if you guys can remember, it's very similar to the multiplication, but it's not the same. Remember the multiplication we said, you know, if you had a, num uh, a number raised to an exponent times a number to um, an exponent, that equaled x to the a plus b, right? You don't multiply the exponents. What you did was you added them. That was for the multiplication, all right? This is what we call the power row of exponents. This is where you raise an exponent to another exponent. So what does that work, or why does this work? OK, well, let's go and use another example, right? So let's think about, remember, let's do our numbers again. Let's use 3 squared. Remember, 3 squared equals 3 times 3, right? Then we got 3 cubed equals 3 times 3 times 3. That was our definition of our exponent that we talked about. So if I was going to, let's put in some numbers here. Let's say I have 3 squared times, four squared. times cubed, or 3 squared cubed. So first of all, what does this mean? What does this cubed mean? Well, that means I have 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared. Right? We just said 3 squared is whatever your base is multiplied by itself three times. Did you guys turn it in? No. He's done? Turn it in? No? Okay. Um, so you have these three, separate them in. It doesn't matter what your base is. If I said x cubed, that equals x times x times x. Right? It doesn't matter if I had 3a cubed. That equals 3a times 3a times 3a. Okay? So if I have 3 squared cubed, whatever it is in inside, that's multiplied by itself three times. Now, what does 3 squared represent? 3 times 3. 3 times 3. 3 times 3. So what is 3 times 3 times 3? times 3 times 3 times 3. That equals 3 times what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how do we go from 3 to 3 squared raised to the third power? How do I get 6? You don't get them by adding. That was the other rule. You're going to get there by 3, 2 times 3, which equals 3 to the 6th power. Okay.